I told you I went into the thrift store. I just went in now. I didn't leave me alone. Pinot Grige. Get rid of zero. Cheers. I decided to go Bud Light Lime. Bears. Oh, that's kind of cold. Don't know your boys. I don't know. We can I feel like we all just go now. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's like you go back and you grab something, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a one by one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing that <laughs> Chair, Raptors, Dwayne, Balls, I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to see my and the best sister, and the best Mary, and the best Gem. Congratulations. And Gem was carrying it the whole time in his. Gem was such a good guard. I'll tell you about it. Don't worry, don't make this about me right now. Going through like these sketchy gas stations. I took the uh, camera to the hockey guy the other day. Oh. The Insta360. That was kind of random too, but that, that was like, that, that was that was actually happened. real. Okay. Yeah. That one was actually real. And I was like, this probably sounds so bait along with all the other things. Yay! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice Aww. like a week into vacation bad eating alcohol drinking celebration mode but Daniel proposed to me on night one which some of you are gonna be like you saw that coming girl but genuinely if I get those other videos up in time I think you will understand that I did not see this coming whatsoever I had a long laundry list of videos I was gonna do New York content I was gonna edit while I was here I was on a productive roll and then he popped the question and I was like is a game changer so I've just been enjoying honestly because obviously why would I not it's been so long since Daniel and I've been in Florida together in general anyways so I was just like feeling emotional about being here with some of our best friends and my sister and just like enjoying the time and then that happened and I was like holy shit okay I need to just like take a break and enjoy it and try not to stress which is very hard for me to do but we're doing it and now we have like a day left of our vacation I rented a car because Sarah in Florida equals car, Dunkin' Donuts, thrifting. You guys already know the drill. I am trying out some new stores. The big ones that I really like in Palm Beach are a little bit far away and I don't feel totally safe driving there right now, just like with my mindset. So we're gonna save those for another trip because I know I'll be back soon with Daniel. Now I can lure him back here because it's a very sentimental place for us. But yeah, we are heading in now. Just gonna get like an early start because as I mentioned, we're nearing the end of our vacation and I wanna enjoy some like pool time today with Daniel because we got really, we both got really burnt two days ago so we didn't do any sun yesterday but your girl's gotta wait, work on her like engagement tan so. I'm gonna try not to be annoying about this but also let me know what you guys wanna see engagement wise, wedding wise, I'm still trying to figure it out but obviously we're gonna go thrifting and if we see something white, like maybe we'll get it this time. I don't know. 
This is my first time at this thrift boutique. Now I'm realizing it is called. And boutique it was because there was so much stuff in here. It was giving thrift store in the display of everything, but the prices were definitely a little bit higher than average. And then we heard this woman on her phone call, like she was an old little lady and she was just putting her old man in place being like, leave me alone, I'm at the thrift store. I thought that was so funny. I just went in now. I'm really glad I caught that candid little moment on camera, but as you guys will see here, there was a lot of designer bags. I couldn't really tell if they were real or not. You know, you had the generics like Coach, Dooney and Burke, all that stuff. If they were all like half the price that they were, I would have had a field day because they weren't like ridiculous consignment store prices, but they were definitely still not thrifty prices. And the styles were ones that I wasn't particularly looking for, although you know, this coach bag was really cute. It's very much reminiscent of what's trending right now for the fall. So maybe if I had more time, maybe if I was in a different mindset, I would have picked up some more things. It was interesting to just go through and see like the old and new trends that this store had and mostly was interested in the accessories at this point because as I mentioned to you guys, I'm just kind of working on curating a specific wardrobe and investing in some higher quality pieces and pieces that do really truly feel me that I can't get elsewhere, especially if I'm on vacation. And of course, shoes. Shoes are always top of my list. I was on the hunt for some Manolos because I feel like they are alive and well here in Florida. These sunglasses were actually also cool, but didn't need them. Something that may shock you is that I've actually become a really good thrifter. <laughs> I really, I don't know how this car works, but I really have become super selective with thrifting and especially traveling because if you don't know, now you know the US dollar compared to the Canadian dollar is quite terrifying. You'll buy something, think it's fine, go to your credit card statement and it's pretty much like almost double at this point. So to me, really not worth it to like buy things that I'm iffy about or things that I can get at home. So that store was really cool as you guys saw. There was tons of designer but I couldn't tell if it was real and it was like randomly kind of expensive for things. We didn't need anything. I also have found so much amazing designer at the thrift store in the last year that I'm just content in that realm. Uh, there's nothing really on my thrift designer wish list to be honest. I feel like got a good little collection brewing. So we are off to stop number two. All right, we have pulled up to what appears to be more of an authentic thrift shop, S-H-O-P-P-E. I'm not gonna lie, these are pissing me off. I think my hairstylist cut them a little too chunky for me, um, but it's fine. I'm just gonna try and tuck them, but if I look like a little lad, that is why. This one was giving good old American thrift, like niche little spot. So if you're in Boca, I highly recommend checking it out. They actually did have a separate section with some higher ticket items. We'll get to that in a moment. We love a good outside jacket for $10. Sadly, I'll probably still need outside jackets when I go, so we'll take a look. I wasn't having the most luck in the general section, but the prices were pretty good. They had some sales too that were like figure it out at the cash kind of situation. These remind me of like these vintage Manolas I really want, but they were not and they weren't in my size, but then I stumbled into the, let's call it the dressing room section with some more curated items. I saw this wedding dress that was kind of giving Ralph Lauren, which is just what I'm looking for. And then of course some good 80s wedding bridal stuff. But this section was nice, it was clean, it was crisp. Felt like I was shopping in a little ladies Florida boutique, to be honest. And they had a really nice change room, so you guys will see that momentarily at the few things that I picked up and decided to try on. Look how fabulous this change room is. We have the shoe chair. I'm gonna try on some things. Love this. Great space, very Florida. I feel like it's fine. It makes me look a little like chunky and I feel like I have things at home. This little Moschino cardigan. I had one like this and I sold it stupidly but it was kind of like not in great condition. This one, however, it's like the exact Frankie's bikinis colorway. I was obsessed with it and it's so cute. You guys know I love a mesh top. This one, like the tag is really worn off on it. So I'm almost wondering if it's like a Roberto Cavalli because it's sort of like blue marine. It's giving me that energy. It's definitely not past fashion because it's like very worn away, but I love it. Honestly guys, it's such a beautiful day. This is where my mindset has changed recently. I need to get home and be with Daniel and be by the pool. But I'll quickly show you what I got because the prices were pretty good and there was some cute shit. So I believe this was four dollars. It's this really cute vintage sequin all the way around. All the way around. 
because that cheap shit has sequin just in the front, but we want a party top all the way around. Really stunning mermaid vibes pink top. I love getting a little hoodie. I actually, oh, there's some stainage, but whatever. It's fine. I believe this is $5, $4. Good Monterey Bay. Why is my camera already dying? It's a good thing we're wrapping it up here. The Moschino ended up being 50% off, so it was like 20 something dollars. I'm so excited about this. This is so cute. I might wear this out tonight. It'll look great with a fresh tan. This ambiguous top was four. Really glad I grabbed her. And then I ended up finding this white flowy skirt because I don't have a white flowy skirt that I actually love. So we'll see if I love that one. I might not, but I'm hoping I do love it. We're gonna head back to pool. I might do another thrift store tomorrow. In terms of budget, I think your girl needs to wrap it up because we're gonna have to see for some I don't even know. I don't even know what the wedding's gonna be, but we're gonna need to just save for life. I need to start being a a saver, not a spender. This is why I love America. Press on pedicures, and these are press ons. How cute are they? Okay, I don't actually have nail polish from over, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm obviously not giving any free foot content on this channel. Why do I not hate this? I'm at my favorite thrift store. I love Chaps Ralph Lauren. Doesn't get much more Florida than that. Little J. Crew moment. So I pretty much packed up my suitcase this morning and everything is fitting, but I fear that after this sweater section, it's not gonna be the case. Why do Floridians need their Ralph Lauren sweaters? They don't. Oh my god, this is only one, the brown and the blue. Is it giving room or is it giving like my vibe right now? I can't really tell. I've kind of always come in the winter to this thrift store specifically, so sometimes like the sweaters are a little bit more sought after. I feel like because we're going into spring and summer, they're like, yeah. Let's get rid of that shit. Nice, nice, very nice. Women's jackets, this could also be dangerous for me. It's kind of a vibe. You kind of need to have a game plan in this place. And I think my game plan today is just to go through like lighter color. No, see I say that and then I've found like some of my favorite black basics here. And it's kind of impossible to do it all. I like this. That's really sick. You never really see like female race car stuff. And I think F1 is actually here this week, but we're leaving. So I'll just wear that at home. Stunning. I was literally just manifesting a Ralph Lauren dress, like a wedding dress. That would be top tier. And then I see this fluffy thing and I'm like, what could it be? So Ralph Lauren, like winter, winter red dress. Might just have to. The jeans here are always insane. Like this is not my style anymore, but the vintage tag. Oh. I might need to just fuck around and find out. I have this fun idea to create the Serena Williams look where she's wearing a denim skirt playing tennis and trying to play tennis while in a denim skirt. And that looks like the one for me. It's insane the amount of denim there is in America. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Guys, let's investigate this because I am a Pisces, a charming one, so. So it's kind of nice to get to the strip store by myself because it's massive and I feel like whenever I'm here with friends, we just lose each other. But at the same time, I'm missing like reuniting at the end and trying stuff on and feeling like safe doing that. So I miss my friends. I need to do another thrift trip. Maybe my bachelorette is a thrift trip. Who knows, we're spitballing here, but it's gonna have to involve thrifting in some way, shape, or form, so that's all I'm gonna say for now. I don't know who this is, but like the ruchi on that jersey sleeve, kind of giving inspo kind of thing. This is very 2019 Sarah And apparently, red, white, and blue are on sale. So my Dalton bottom top is on sale. Be. And now we shoe. You really gotta go up and down here on the shoes because there's a lot you don't want to miss. Like these Tony Biancos, these are pretty good. Pretty cute. Size 8. These also look good. These Kate Spades. These look small. Six and a half. Oh my god, 3 dollars 
I wish I was a seven. I love the like mesh shoe thing that's so big right now. So luckily I have my polo purse to match my polo top today. But fun fact, I actually got this polo bag here like two years ago. And for whatever reason, they sensor tagged it. So every time I go anywhere that has uh, tag sensors, I go off. Um, so I'm gonna attempt today to get them to take it off and hopefully they don't try and take my bag back for me. This, I just really liked because it looks super like slouchy Florida chill, but it is part acrylic. I don't know though, this just looks so cozy. Cozy woes. This I grabbed for a G for this OG nostalgia, but realistically, am I ever gonna wear this and it's too big? No. This polo. I might use that one, but I just thought we would admire it together. Maybe I'll do some sort of DIY. Okay, it's time to investigate her. A little bit suspicious. We have these Ralph Lauren jeans. These Wranglers, $5.99. Kind of vibe, but also gonna be hard to pack. These, $7.99. I think these will fit. They're kind of fun. They're gonna be a maybe. This was the Troy Super, but it isn't, so. Oh yeah, this is a guess. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I really like the like chunkiness of the stripe on this, and I feel like it'll fit well. We have my Ralph Lauren gown. So good for like a winter wedding. The fact that it's large and it's knit, it's gonna be so hard to get fixed. So, I see up where the like expensive stuff is, which I don't really understand that anyways. I see these perfect looking Dior sandals. I was like, they're probably gonna be fake. They're probably not gonna be my size. I've been looking for a brown sandal. I love a wedge also because I can't actually wear a sandal. They're Saks Fifth Avenue Christian Dior. I looked them up online. They go for like quite a bit and they were my size. So your girl ran back to the cash, got more cash and purchased those shoes because honestly I keep seeing like, I think it's Vestiaire Collective post about how designer is actually cheaper than like fast fashion right now. And I was like, yep, 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 yep. If I'm gonna buy new sandals anywhere, I stupidly have to buy all those sandals this trip. They were still like 80 bucks US, so like 100 bucks Canadian, and those were like 20 bucks more. So is that girl math? I don't really know. It's Sarah Thrifter math. It's Thrifter math. Thrift math. And I love Thrift math, so. I am not gonna lie to you guys, I've not used this camera in a hot minute, so hopefully things are looking all right. But we are back from the trip. I literally had to shove everything in here. I had the privilege of going a little bit crazy since we did have a car with us. I actually haven't seen these things in a couple of weeks, so we're about to dive in. I will say firsthand, my Dior shoes are in the car and I have been wearing them. They are perfect. I am so obsessed with them. They are also extremely comfortable, which could not have just like, they fell into my life. They were literally the perfect summer shoe and shout out to World Thrift for that. Probably one of my favorite thrift finds of the year. What I didn't show you was I popped into this other like little consignment store and I had mentioned that I wanted Manolo's. Spoiler alert, there are a pair in there, but I also found this Armani Exchange sequiny kind of off the shoulder sweater. I did take a picture in this, but it's on my disposal camera that I still have to get developed. These are the Manolo's. I believe they were like 90 bucks, but they're in pristine condition and I just love how they're a little sling back kitten heel black pointy toe. I realized this year, especially during the fall, that I didn't have black heels. So these are a Sarah black heel. They're perfect, they're walkable, they're not too high, not too crazy. And lastly from this store, I actually found a juicy set. I believe it was like $20 for the whole set. And it's in this beautiful butter yellow and my size as well. So we have the pants here. Don't actually know where the sweater is. Maybe I, oh, she's here, thank goodness. I think the zipper is broken on the sweater, which is kind of a bummer because I didn't realize that in the store. But I mean, I can just wear her open. She's beauty, she is juicy, and I just really love this color. You guys already saw the stuff that I got at that main thrift store. This, this, this white skirt, which definitely forgot I picked up. Gotta start wearing that one. So going to the final store, World Thrift. This I'm obsessed with. I need to wash this ASAP. It was $8, but like how sick is that race shirt? If anyone knows like where or when this is from, please let me know because I think it's so cool. I also found this Ralph Lauren. You know, you have to pick up some novelty Ralph Lauren when you're in Florida. I believe this was like $4 as well. And I always love me a good 
grandpa closet moment when I'm in Florida. Kind of along the same lines, or we're giving like frat boy um, the J. Crew one, which would be so good like going into fall now, because I know I filmed this at the start of summer, but now we're really talking about fall, so just excuse these thrift finds being a bit delayed. And we also went with the Chaps one, because it was dead stock, and I just knew that I would live in this, and I don't know. Those are the things that are really hard to find in Canada, like Ralph Lauren, good American denim, and all that kind of business. We got a couple belts as well. Loving this moment, loving the closure. I have a gold belt like this, but not silver, so that's a big win. Also this brown, also giving Ralph Lauren very much. Doesn't have a brand on it, but okay. I see you, and I don't know if this got its full moment in the store, but I did find a Dolce & Gabbana Pisces top, and was marked as $50, but red was 25% off, I believe, so this was totally worth it in my opinion. So this is cute and fun, and I'm kind of in my Dolce & Gabbana thrifting moment, you guys, so if you don't know, now you know. And the last thing that I picked up kind of on the white wedding theme were these, and I totally forgot about these, I'm not even gonna lie. Now I'm looking at them, and they're definitely not gonna fit me. I don't feel like getting gross right now. So we're not gonna try these on. I feel like they're not gonna fit. They're marked as a size four. And we all know the leather pants do not stretch, but I'll figure out something to do with these. Maybe take them to the dry cleaner, but I am so glad I'm getting this video up for you guys. I love doing the thrift and then the haul, and I've got a lot more of this coming on my channel. So make sure you leave me a comment with like the favorite item, your favorite item that I thrifted down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.